Hello, hello everyone. So I'm Pedro Medas. I'm the mentor of, of a leader, the community. And today we are with Jesus, Jesus Calleja. And we are going to, to talk about his experience at the Ignite project. Uh, so Jesus, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, of course. Well, hi. Um, hi to everybody. Well, um, I'm Jesus Calleja. Um, currently, I'm working at UV Solutions as a product owner and team leader. But I've been a developer for the last 10, 12 years. And well, uh, after as a long journey as a developer, I wanted to switch and to change a little bit my my career and to to well to get out of my comfort zone and starting uh, being a product owner, and that's why I I, I joined Ignite to, to to take this step in the easiest way as possible. Great, great. That sounds really good. Uh, so let's start with the questions. Uh, so tell me, what's what's your favorite content? Well, um, my favorite book um, about all this kind of uh, self knowledge or leadership and stuff like this is a book called it's, well, it's this one. It's called Éxito se escribe con A, and maybe it's not the best book, but it's the first one I read. Um, in this kind of uh, success, entrepreneur, stuff like this content. And it made a, it changed a little bit my, my mindset about about all this stuff. And for me, it's quite important because, uh, well, it was the first one and, and I realized thanks to this book that um, I was quite interested in, in those kind of topics. So this gives you the, the like the first idea to start to explore more no, in this uh, yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for me that this is so special. Hmm. Yeah. Great, great. So let's uh, let's see what's your favorite uh, working app. So the app that you maybe use every day or that has helped you most in your work. For me, the best one by far is Notion. I discovered Notion, I think, a couple of three months ago. And when I discovered it, I said, oh my God, that's the, the, the tool I've been looking for <laughs> my entire life. I mean, it's, it's, I, I always uh, was, was searching for a tool that uh, allowed me to, to organize uh, or to put all the notes or, or ideas or, or stuff I had in my mind with, with pictures, with code, uh, whatever, but also that had or, or the, the ability to translate those ideas into into tasks, organize it in a, in a Kanban layout and stuff like this with tables, etc. And well, and, and that's what Notion does. And for me, is 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 the best application by far. I use it every day. And it's, it's, I mean, the, the, the base or the application that now I couldn't live without. Yeah, great. Definitely Notion, it's a really, really good tool to organize basically all, all your life. <laughs> you can put your brain there and your brain is free for everything. It's like super yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, so... Now tell me what, what's your reference leader? No, what, what's what's this figure that you you really follow and uh, has inspired you? Yeah, um, well, uh, I follow a lot of um, famous people, famous leaders, you know, but the one that has or had more impact in me or in my life, it's my direct boss. I mean, it's it's the boss I have in the company because. Um, He's someone that I think he's a true, truly leader. I mean, it's, it's like the definition of who is a leader. He's someone super smart, someone that um, every decision he takes or whatever has a reason, has a why behind, has an explanation, and everything is within, well, everything has a reason. And... And 
is someone that is always um, with the door open to help you in, in any kind of doubt, problem, or whatever. And he helped me a lot in, I mean, in, in my entire career since I joined the, the company. And if I'm where I am today, it's in a big part thanks for him. So, so for me, he's, he's a reference, of course. I mean, he's my main reference. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, it's great that you, you have been able to, to have this reference with you, you know, and then to, to really take all this knowledge. You know? I think yeah, that's... I'm, uh, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. Mm. Yeah. Great, great. Um, so yeah, continuing with the, with the questions. What, what do you like most of being a leader in tech? Um, I think when, well, when you're a leader in tech, you have to take care about um, the big part of two axes. People you are leading and technology you are working with. And for me, the, the thing I like the most is, first of all, when you realize how much the people you are leading or you are working with are evolving. I mean, when, when you analyze, okay, this person right now can do uh, this kind of stuff, which is much more or, or it's, uh, it's, it's awesome if we compare it to the previous year, you know, I mean, how they are evolving in their career. And if you combine these people uh, with what they can do and all the work you do with tech, if you combine them, you can achieve or you can get uh, quite good results or, 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 or products or everything you create. So for me, it's, it's, I mean, this result, the, 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 the stuff you create with the people you are helping to evolve and with the technology you are working with or designing or whatever, to me, this is like the, the, the I think I like the most, you know, I means the combination of, of everything put together. Yeah, guiding, yeah. guiding people in tech, no, it's, it's really, it gives you the, this feeling. It's a, yeah. I, I, I share that also. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then let, let's move to, let's say to, to maybe you can tell us which is the biggest challenge that you have faced as a leader. Wow, that's a, a, a good question. Um, when I was 22, I started a, a company with, with a colleague who was a web development studio. And well, it was a, it ended up being a totally failed project, but I learned a lot from, from, from that experience because I, I was quite young. I had no idea about, about business development, project management, whatever I was, well, I was still studying my, my, my degree. And the first couple of years, the studio was, well, I mean, we have up and heights. I am ups and lows, but well, it was great. But then um, it was a day that um, a huge project came to us, a really, really huge project came to us. And we were ambitious and said, okay, let's take this project. I mean, it's going to phase it. But I mean, we were uh, aware that we had no experience in not not enough not enough experience in technical stuff at that moment. We had a very low experience in business management, project management. But instead of that, we decided to to go ahead and to take this project. And that project ended up being also totally failed. I mean. We ended up uh, canceling the project, having to return the the money, etc. Um, for me, for my for my colleague, that was a, a well, was a a huge experience to to digest and to and to, and to face. But uh, we learned a lot 
Well, I, have, I mean, so what, this what, what's the main, the main take take away from this experience? The main takeaway was that um, you have to be ambitious in your life. Because if you're not ambitious, you're gonna you're not gonna achieve uh, what you want to achieve or whatever. But it's more, it's also important that you have to be aware of where are your limits at some point. I mean, maybe you have to be ambitious, but you have something that maybe you cannot face today. It's okay. Don't do it. Maybe it's not your time. So you have to be aware. So where Where is the limit? And that's no problem. I mean, you are not failing if you cannot face something at a certain point, point in your life. No problem. You will do it later if you can. Yeah, failing our learning experience. So that's a, yeah, yeah, good. Of course. So tell us uh, one single tip for for aspiring leaders in tech. Um, maybe it can be a little bit uh, controversial with what I said before, but I think <laughs> I would like to say is um, try to do things. Even if you are not sure how to do certain thing, try to do it. Because, I mean, maybe there's not a guideline or whatever to do certain stuff, but done is better than perfect. So try to do whatever. I mean, try to face it. And that, push, think, your, this push, is, push your lips, this is, no? I mean. Yeah, yeah, try, try things. I mean, no, don't mm. be scared. Yeah, that's a really good advice. I agree. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let, let's move on to maybe your experience in in Ignite. You can tell us uh, maybe why why did you join Ignite? Yeah, um, I joined Ignite because well, as I said before, I have a job promotion. I mean, I I, I switch from developer to product owner. And, and, and team leading, team managing, etc. And well, uh, in, in that promotion, uh, as I said, team leading and product management would be my main responsibilities. So my boss suggested me to, to that Ignite could be or could give me the foundation that I needed in order to succeed in this uh, next career level. That's why I joined Ignite. And, and how Ignite is helping you to achieve these, uh, these leadership goals? Um, it helped me in a lot of uh, points, but uh, if I have to take one, is realizing that I'm not the only one who feels lost in this tech leadership world. I mean, before joining Ignite, I thought uh, I had no idea and anyone else had a really clear path or way to do things. And now I realize that no, I mean, a lot of people is lost. And, and I mean, and as I said, even if you are not totally sure of, of if you are doing is, 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 is 100% uh, perfect or whatever, I mean, nobody is 100% sure, uh, neither you are, you are so a, hey, mm, Keep going, go ahead and try uh, as best as you can. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, very, very good. Um, yeah, so let's continue with the, how mentoring is helping you address your your challenges. Huh? Um, I mean, uh, now I have a lot of, 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 tips about um, let's say I mean when you mentor uh, when you mentor to people you have to to be sure that uh, those people are are have a higher priority or oh, those those people um, careers those people suggestions th those people um, Quality is always a priority rather than your suggestions, your your 
quality of whatever. And I realized that um, if I if if I, if I want to be a, a successful mentor or whatever, the first thing I have to to have, to have in mind is that the people I lead, the people I, I mentor, the people I work with, have to be have to feel. I mean, I, are much more important than what I, that my my everything belong belong to me. No? So. For me, this, this, I mean, if I work on them, my challenges will be succeed because my challenges and my success or whatever depends 100%, 100% of, 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 of the people I lead. So be focused on the people and you will take care of yourself if you have time, you know? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I think I, I, I kind of agree more with, with that, no, at the end, as a leader, you you take that experience from others and, and use that to to grow. No, so yeah. that's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. So we we are getting closer to to the end. Uh, maybe you can tell us uh, what do you like most about the Ignite uh, program? Yeah, what I like the most, uh, I think, is the community we create with all the people who join Ignite. I mean, all I mean. After the end of the program, I'm 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 keeping in touch with 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 some of them, and it's nice to to have a well a community where where you have shared a, a, an experience and you can keep sharing future experience doubts or whatever. It's it's great to have a, a community here with people who understand how you feel and why what you are working with or things you are facing where you can ask questions or whatever. It's for me, this is like uh, one of the most important things. And the, the last question, what would, what do you say to aspiring leaders thinking about joining Ignite? What do you say to them? Okay, to anyone thinking about joining Ignite, I would say that, hey, don't doubt, man. Don't doubt, just do it because there's nothing you can lose and there's a lot you can earn. I mean, and I I can be sure 100% that you will be a totally different person before and after the program. I mean, I mean due to, to a lot of reasons, but I mean, I can assure you that at 100%. Do it. Don't, don't doubt about it. Great, great. Well, Jesus, thanks. Thanks for sharing uh, your uh, all your thoughts and your feedback about the program. And that's it for for today. So, thanks for for joining these questions. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. All right. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.